guys, it's Hydra here. Before we start the video, I'd like to shout out our newest sponsor, G2A, for giving us this amazing opportunity. Go over there, the discount code will be on screen. Go over to their website, get yourself something nice, and let's get right to the video. The video, guys, it's Crazy Cow TV. I've never started a video like this, but I want to explain how this series was supposed to go. So basically, guys, I had this series planned out that the week of the reveal trailer coming up for Black Ops 3, I was just going to wait a week and a half after the reveal trailer came out, get all the intel that we have so far, upload a nice big video for you guys with lots of intel from multiplayer and campaign and keep it about a 20 minute video instead of you guys clicking two minute video after two minute video after two minute video to see oh we're gonna watch a two minute video on the campaign real quick we're gonna watch a two minute video on the equipment the guns that might come in to black ops 3 so i had this all planned out and sony vegas pro will not let me render 20 minute videos because i only have eight gigs of ram who do you know in this world that uploads YouTube videos that only has 8 gigs of RAM still. I mean, I'm guessing all like Optic Nade Shot, all these Ali A, T Martin, all these dudes in their computers probably have like 32 gigs or 64 gigs of RAM. And I'm sitting over here trying to render a video with 8 gigs of RAM. That is an issue. I think I might do like a stream, like charity thing. Get me to 64 gigs of RAM so I can just completely power through these videos and upload a 20 minute video in like two minutes or render it out in two minutes. So before I rant on about all that, YouTube, how we doing today guys? It's Crazy Cow TV. I'm back with a brand new video for you guys. In this video today, we're gonna be talking about a couple things that are in the Black Ops 3, like that have been leaked to us already. You know, I think you guys have already heard about them. But I'm going to give you guys a little bit more information into depth uh, about the beta and then how this game is going to be only next gen only. So basically guys, the beta. As you guys heard, Black Ops 3 is having a beta. It's the first time Call of Duty's ever had a beta. You know, you get a beta code by going and pre-ordering the game for multiplayer. So the kick to what the new information is is that the beta usually releases and drops about two months before the game comes out. You know, we have a pre-like like we have a pre-done like I don't know we have like I'm just gonna call it a well done stage almost perfectly done but it's well done steak references guys we got some steak references right now so basically beta usually drops about two months before the game comes out you get to play it test it out they'll fix a couple flaws before the game comes out and bam they'll release it the kick with this is that we have information from David Vonderhart basically explaining to us that the beta will be coming out within June or July. Really? Like, how, how do we find this information out? So I have a tweet up on the screen. I'm not sure what the tweet says, but I remember that David Vonderhart tweeted something out about like E3 being pre-alpha, beta being beta, and then some other event over in uh over in London being like close to being done on the game. So basically that's what David Von Hart tweeted out. We're expecting the beta now to be dropped in June. You know, that's not a confirmed thing. So don't dislike this video because I told you that the beta might drop in June. That is just a rumor that I'm hearing right now from Ali A, T Martin. I'm hearing it from David Von Hart himself that we might be getting this beta to play the game in June. The crazy thing about this is that we're going to be getting hands-on experience four months left of Advanced Warfare of the next game's multiplayer. I just think that's crazy, guys. So moving on, we have that the next game, which is Black Ops 3, is going to be next-gen only. How crazy is that? So basically, they're saying all you Xbox 360 users and all you uh, PS3 users are just going to have to get out of the past and move up to the future, and we're going to be playing on Xbox One, PC, and PS4 together, guys. How fun is that going to be? kind of sucks for all of you uh, Xbox 360 players, though, because, you know, Xbox 360 was popular than PS3. I'm saying it now, guys. Don't give me hate for it. Um, I really think it was, and it sucks because Xbox 360 is still a good system. You know, really, Advanced Warfare looks like complete crap on the Xbox 360. I'm guessing if they would make a Black Ops 3 for the 360, it would look like crap. So, next gen only. All of you uh, ancient wannabes back in the day, go out and buy yourself an Xbox One, PC, or PS4. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it wasn't too long of a video just to explain two things. You know, I explained at the beginning of the video that this series just like took a complete opposite 180 turn on me and I really didn't know what to do about it so this is what I'm going to do about it. 
and said, I'll be having a brand new video for you guys tomorrow, probably explaining score streaks and maybe equipment coming to the multiplayer that we have leaked so far. So stay tuned for that, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video again. Rate, comment, subscribe. Brand new videos coming out in the future. Follow me on Twitter. It's down in the description below. At Crazy Kyle TV. Just kidding. It's at SDX Crazy Kyle. Go follow me. Find out all the intel about my latest videos dropping. YouTube is Crazy Kyle TV.